Ryan Baker, and today we're going to go over the Winnebago Spirit 25B. This is an awesome Class C floor plan. You don't have any slides in this floor plan, which means what you see is what you get. This, all this space right here, this big walkway, is what you have while traveling down the road. We'll start off right over here. You will see that you have a campsite dinette, which I love this in any floor plan. It's great to have in a motorhome because this is where you'll be sitting to have your morning cup of coffee or your breakfast, and you get to take a look out at your campsite, not out at your neighbors. You have the beautiful seamless tabletop right here. This does drop down into a bed. You have two seat belts right here for additional riders as well. Also, Winnebago makes a lot of their furniture in house, the dinette included. Very comfortable to sit on here for anyone that is traveling down the road. And as I mentioned, that does drop down into a bed. MCD shades there, uh, it's name brand shades, they're blackout shades, and I like the fact that it's the lighter color instead of actually being black. That way if it's at night, you can close them down, you have privacy, but it doesn't feel closed in. Lights right up top here, DVD player next to that, that is hooked up to the TV, which is right up front here, you can see that in the cab over there. And then storage up above that DVD player. It does have struts here as well as hidden hinges. High gloss cabinetry on there as well. On the driver's side, right up top, you have this big storage area. Just one large door right there. Again, that one is strut supported with hidden hinges. LED lights underneath and an electrical outlet over here to the side. Large window with your MCD shade and your jackknife sofa right underneath. There are two additional seatbelts here, so you can have two more riders, removable armrests, and in order to fold this down into a bed, you have this right here, you can just pull that, that will allow you to lift it up and fold it down. Making our way back a little bit further, you will see the kitchen. The kitchen in the Spirit here is solid surface, gorgeous countertops, also it's a recessed cooktop here, so you can use all of this as prep space. Fold the glass back and up, just like so, to reveal the three burners there. And you have the oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Couple full extension drawers, you'll see they are nice and long. And additional storage underneath the sink that is large enough there to put a trash can. Because you have solid surface, it allows you to undermount the stainless steel sink. You'll see the double equal bowl there. High rise pull out faucet here. Another electrical outlet over to the side, your main control panel with your tank monitoring panel on there, your generator, thermostat right up above that. And then you also have the holding tank heater, so that way you have uh, heated holding tanks if you're staying or traveling through a cold climate. Up above, you'll notice the pantry there has uh, the built-in shelf, which is great. So if you, know, if you want to use it as a spice cabinet or if you want to put... Um, you know, cups, plates, bowls up there, you can do that as well. Microwave here with the fully functional hood underneath. I do want to give you a shot at the cab over there. You can take a look at that real quick. So you have the ladder built in. Uh, it's very comfortable. You can see how thick this is compared to a lot of them. Nice thick mattress, so anyone that is sleeping up here is comfortable. You also have the vent right up top. So if it's hot, you don't want to run the AC, you can open that up. Get some cross ventilation right up through here. Uh, Ford chassis, if you've seen one, you've basically seen them all, pretty common. Uh, you do have the carpeting down here as well. Right in the center dash is the touch screen that has the, uh, the backup camera on there. So as soon as you put it in reverse, you're able to see what is behind you. On the camp side is the Norcold fridge freezer combo. Open that up for you so you can see the size. This unit does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. Couple of wardrobes in this floor plan. You'll have one located right here, another one on the other side. I'll show you in just a minute. But first you'll see there is a bedroom TV here. So that does come with the unit, which is great. That way you can lay right in bed, watch TV. Uh, the bed is 54 inches wide, but it is a full 80 inches long. So even if you're taller, you still have plenty of space here window in the bedroom, you have the, uh, the leather-ish headboard there. You will also see you have connections right up top with the shelf to charge electronic devices, and then the big cabinet there as well. Across the way here, this is your second wardrobe I had talked about, so much larger than the first. A couple of drawers underneath that. And right back here is the bathroom. I'll take a seat here just to kind of give you an idea of space. 
Uh, as far as the legs, I have plenty of room right in front. I'm fairly wide in the shoulders. Uh, I don't have too much of an issue in here. They did kind of cut back the countertop a little, so you have space here. Toilet paper holders right there in front of you, easy to reach. You'll see storage underneath the sink. There is enough there for a trash can if you want one in the bathroom. The nice seamless countertops, just like our tabletop on the dinette. Electrical outlet here. You will see storage behind me. That way you have a place for your black tank chemicals, toilet paper, whatever else you want to toss in there. And I'll take a step in the shower here as well. So I'm six foot tall. As you can see, I have plenty of room, even more with that skylight. So if you're, you know, six four, six five, you can probably still shower in here without having to bend down. Hand wand as well. And then you have a couple uh, robe or towel hooks right up top there. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Winnebago Spirit 25B. This one is built on the Ford E450 chassis and houses the Ford V10 engine. You'll see the running boards on here, so it's easy to step up into both passenger and driver's seats. You have the big bi-directional mirrors on here. This one you'll also see has the optional front cap. Uh, that not only helps give it a cleaner look, but also helps water penetration. You'll see that instead of having the seam on the front where all the water and everything's going to come in, it brings it around to the side, so that way you have less chance for the water to get in that front nose. Also, it does add some extra insulation value up there, so you know if uh, someone's sleeping up there, it'll help keep them a little bit warmer and or cooler. You'll also see the power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in with an LED light strip on there. Nice high gloss fiberglass exterior. Right down underneath, you have storage. You'll see that uh, the decent sized storage area, it's kind of dark in there, but a uh, good sized storage area, especially to have you know, right here on the campsite, right up front. Making way back a little bit further, the entry door does have a strut on there, so it stays open just like so. Batteries are located right here. Easy to get to, you just kind of flip that down like so, lift it up, and you can see right there are your two batteries. Going back a little bit further here, you will notice that the uh, back of the refrigerator is color matched. It's not black or white, anything like that. I do like the fact they color matched it, helps it hide a little bit better. You'll see your tank fill. If you need to fill your fresh water tank, that's the place to do it. You have your cable outlet as well as electrical outlets right here so you have a spot to hook up a TV. Now one of my favorite parts about this floor plan is right back here and you will see how big this storage area is. Absolutely massive. Uh, you see the spare tire right there. You'll have the, uh, the, the plastic composite right down in here so it's really easy to clean out. If you get the optional power stabilizer, that's where they will go right there. LED light back there as well, so you're able to see at night. Coming around to the back side, you have the rear mounted ladder to climb up onto the fully walkable roof. It is a fiberglass roof on the Spirit. You'll also see the backup camera, so that way you can see what's behind you as you're backing up. This is rear access to that same storage area. Just open it up to kind of give you an idea right there. And underneath that, the painted bumper, again, to help match the actual color of the unit. And because it is painted, it's a little bit slippery, they gave you the grip tape there as well. Right underneath is the hitch, 7,500 pound hitch. So nice big hitch on here. That way if you're, you know, have a larger toad that you're pulling behind you or uh, you know, maybe another trailer, something like that, you have the capability to do so. Right here is a black tank flush to help wash out your black tank instead of sticking a hose down your toilet to wash it out. A little bit more forward here is the fuel fill. You'll see the cable inlet here as well as city water hookup. Electric right underneath. There you are. You'll see the propane hookup right here. And lastly, right up front is your generator. Open this up for you. You can see right there the Cummins Zone in 4000 watt Jenny to power everything in the coach. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the Winnebago Spirit 25B. If you're interested in this beautiful Class C and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.